Hi everyone, I've been asked to talk about jar files, so I'm going to show you first how to create and run jar files from BlueJay, and then to show you what's going on underneath uh, what BlueJay does for you from the command line. First of all, let me show you this super simple application I have here. I have a class called Say Hello which doesn't have any class variables it just has a routine called um, or rather a method called say it which says hello world and uh, just to make things not ultra simple I wanted to have at least two classes in the jar file I have a separate class to actually run that so this class called run hello has a static void main method which uh, creates an instance of say hello and then run say it on it so it creates this object that I just randomly called twit and then runs the say it method so basically uh, two classes have to cooperate so let's run this just to show you that it works it says hello world that's fine now let's make a jar file uh, we do that by going to the project menu uh, saying uh, create a jar file and the minimum we have to do is to choose the class with the main method in it uh, the jar file won't figure this out on its own so it's run hello that has the main method in it so we have to select that so it knows which class to run and then click continue and it prompts us for what do we want to name this jar file. So um, I'm in my examples directory right now and I have a number of BlueJ projects here. I'll just call this jar file hello. Let's call it hello, yeah, just hello. And create it. And then if we look in our directory over here, it uh, automatically added the jar extension and that's our jar package now unfortunately if we try to run it by double clicking it it's going to throw away the standard output at least that's the way it, it works with my system so I'm gonna back off one directory and then open a command window for my examples directory I uh, press the shift key right click this is how Vista and Windows 7 works anyway and then open a command window and here we are if we do a directory listing uh, we see here's our jar file and the way to get it to run with Java is we call Java that's the uh, runtime engine and we have to give it an argument of dash jar to indicate that we're giving it a jar file and now we'll give it the jar file hello dot jar hit return and we get our hello world so that worked all's good with that now let's do the same thing from the command line so we can see what's going on behind the scenes I'll go back down into my examples um, this is the uh, BlueJay project remember that the BlueJay project dialog will peek in to directories to see if they have a BlueJ project file and then give them a different icon so when you're selecting a BlueJ project you're really selecting selecting a directory and here it is uh, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder and I'll call this uh, jar hello command to indicate that I'm going to use the command line now I'm going to dip into the BlueJ file and I'm going to make copies of the class source files. These are the ones with the Java extension. There are two of them uh, to correspond to the classes. So I'm going to copy these. Okay, it's off my menu. Uh, it's, it's off the screen here, but I am copying them. And now I'll go back to my um, the directory I just created and I will paste these okay there there's my source code
Now I'm going to make things just a little more complicated by following the suggestion in the book and have separate directories for uh, my source code and my class files. So I'll have to create a couple of new folders for those. Um, here we go. Uh, here's my source directory and one more new one and call this one classes and now I'll take my source code and drop them into this source directory okay now it's time for some some command line fun so shift right click and open a command window and here we are if we do a directory li listing uh, there are my source files. Now, per the book, we're going to compile these files, but we'll di divert the, uh, the compiled code to our classes directory. So Java C for Java compiler, and now we have to give it an argument dash D to indicate the directory where we want the compiled code to go. So we'll say dot dot to move down one directory and backslash classes. That's where we want to put them. Now we can compile both uh, all the source code at once by just giving a wildcard. So we'll just say star dot Java and that should compile everything. Hit return and that was successful. So now let's uh, descend into the source directory. Uh, we have to go up one first, sorry. cd back off dot dot slash classes c-l-a-s-s-e-s -S -S. okay now we're where we want to be. Let's do a directory listing and there is our Java runtime. Now if we want to we can just run it and let's go ahead and do that. Java run hello that's the class that has our um, has the main uh, uh, method in it. Okay we get hello world so far so good now let's package it into a jar file. However, before we do that, we have to create a manifest file that tells the jar packager which class is going to be our main class. It has no way of figuring that out for itself. Um, that's more easily done from the Windows GUI here. So let's uh, descend into our classes file and create a manifest file. New, uh, I'm going to select text document and we'll just call this manifest.text. Now this name is not magic. You can choose anything uh, you want, but we'll have to specify this when we create the jar file. So you just have to uh, choose a name and remember uh, what you're using. So let's edit this. And what we have to specify is to use the magic word main class spelled M-A-I-N dash C-L-A-S-S -S, colon and we simply have to specify the class that has the main file in which case uh, in this case it's run hello and we have to have a add a new line here and then save and that's all we need to do now we have told the uh, jar creator that uh, run hello is is the class we want to run the ma that that has the uh, main method in it. So let's get this out of the way. Go back to our command line, and now we can put this all together. The command, surprisingly enough, is jar 
And now we do have a bit of, uh, uh, of a magic word here that you just have to remember, at least for now, dash CBVMF. Uh, you can remember that the MF stands for manifest. And again, we have to specify this file name. It's not magic, but it has to match. M-A-N-I-F-E-S-T dot text. Okay. Next, we specify the name of the jar file we want, and uh, we'll simply call this run. You can choose any name you want, run.jar. OK, that's the jar file we're going to produce. And finally, uh, the names of the classes we want to put in the package. Since it's all of them, we can uh, give a wildcard star dot class and return and we get some feedback indicating that those classes have been added to the jar file and if we do a directory listing we see that we've created that jar file if we look at windows here uh, the windows explorer we see that we have the jar file and just as we did for bluejay we can now run it by typing java uh, dash jar because it's a jar file uh, run dot jar and we get our hello world and uh, that about covers it thanks for watching